here for another Black Desert Mobile Chill Gaming and today we will be talking about surveying the map and advanced pre preparation tips for merchantry. So because um, in merchantry um, it's hard to survey the map uh, while outside of the town because of you know the time taking food consumption the fact that you're also racing against uh, trade price fluctuation the two minute limit of wandering merchants and also um, the 15 minute reset of events and price trades so basically you, you don't have the luxury of time to fully survey the map while uh, you're inside um, but actually without going in merchantry and going out of town we can all right so we will start it off with balenos so right now um, i'm in my node manager so it's going to be the same um, same map that you will see whenever you are in Balenos in, in Merchant Tree. So you check check this out. On the upper left, you have your camp, which is currently uh, not usable right now, but in future content it would be. Um, you have your Western Guard camp on the lower left. You have your Velia um, almost at the center upper right. And then on the south uh, east uh, part of the map, uh, you have the Serendian Gate. So basically this is it. Um, th you will you know um, study the map. Uh, on your own free time, you would know that when you come in Serendian Gates, uh, it's better to uh, pass by Velia first before going to West Guard Camp as a, a good shorter route. Or you can go all the way to West Guard Camp, uh, go to Velia before going back out to the Serendian Gate. So yeah, th that's how uh, uh, pretty easy that is for the Balenos um, map itself in Merchant Tree. Now for uh, the other maps, um, it's uh, easier to do it this way. Um, we don't have uh, something like this, um, just like in Balenos, but I'll still show you how to survey the map uh, for the uh, other maps in Merchant Tree. So um, all you have to do is go go out um, of uh, the uh, go out of field or whatever, uh, and then click on the world map. There you go, and then click on Serendia. So you will see here um, on the north northmost part of the map, uh, you will see there uh, the Heidel Pass Gateway. That's actually um, you see the broken lines on top. That's where you enter, coming from Balenos. And then, of course, the next the next uh, town that you will be encountering would be Heidel. You see that um, you have Northern Quarry Heidel. So that's the first one. And then you will see a uh, glitch on the lower left portion. So uh, that's uh, your way going to glitch. You will see there the, the, the roads. Um, it's almost the same, the, the roads that you see there um, in the world map. Now, um, just one thing, um, uh, one inconsistency that is, I would like to point out, because on the lower left portion, just beside uh, glitch almost, you'll see there that the, the exit uh, towards um, the neutral border zone would be southwestern gate uh, that is not correct um, so so this one this map is not that reliable because it's actually the northern uh, northwestern gate that uh, we will be using uh, to go into the neutral border zone now um, let's try and go um, to the neutral border zone so it says here that you will enter through uh, the watch tower um, and then you go all the way or camp, uh, breed a fortress, etc, etc. And then um, as you pass through, uh, you would have to um, go all the way up north, uh, pass by a Delphi outpost, which you can't miss, and then come out Old Dandelion. And as you come out Old Dandelion, it will take you to... Uh, it will take you to North Calfion, and then you will come out through. Um, I don't know if it's if it's uh, the Northern Plantation or the DS Farmland, but it's uh, very near Calfion. Uh, when you enter the, the the North Calfion, it's very near the Calfion City, and then up north would be your Florin, and then Eferia would be on the far westmost. So um, you can actually survey the map here. Um, you know, you can take note that, let's say, once you're in Calfion City, um, Eferia is kind of like around an average 2,000 food consumption um, going there. And then Florin is around 3,000 food consumption. But um, yeah, uh, this will give you an idea 
of um, how to plan your trade routes when you're in uh, North uh, Calpheon uh, through Calpheon City. Next, um, so with Calpheon City, um, when you're here, you have the access of going to either um, uh, Southeast Calpheon to Ketlin, uh, just one, one, one town over there, or uh, go Southwest from Calpheon City uh, to, to go to Southwest Calpheon. So we'll go with uh, Southwest Calpheon first. So coming from uh, Calpheon City, your entry point would be the Gabino Cohen farmlands. So you can either go right, um, go east, east then south to Bear, or west and south to Trent. So you can either you can either go you know clockwise or counterclockwise. Uh, please take note that the long uh, leaf tree. Um, uh, th this town right here, Longleaf Tree Center Post. It's not an existing town in Merchantry, so just two, the Bear and the the Trent. So, so you can see that there's a mountain, a very big mountain in the middle, um, which you can't uh, do a shortcut with. So it's really you, you really have to do either clockwise or counterclockwise. Now, um, this one, um, Southeast Calpheon, I'm, I'm just going to show you. So the entrance would be the Kepler Roads coming from. Calpheon City, go to Kepler, and then after going to Kepler, you just have to go all the way back up to Calpheon City. And this map right here, I don't really recommend that you go to because it's a dent end. Um, if you want to go back up, you have to go the same route. So, and, and that's basically wasting uh, wasting time because um, you will pass by events that you've passed, uh, passed by on, um, and you don't want that to happen. All right. Now, uh, more advanced, so, so basically that's it for, ser for serving the map. Uh, you can do it on your own free time uh, so, th so that um, you can be familiarized uh, with the distances, um, with, uh, with the trade routes. Uh, you, you, you will know which, um, which towns to, to pass by, which towns uh, you can neglect while, while you're in there. Um, next um, preparation tips that I have would be um, the, the workers. Uh, so let's go there. Let's go to camp. Oh, what am I clicking? There. Okay, so advanced preparation tips. So first off, um, you will need to have all your workers um, under vitality. Um, you see that um, most of my workers here, the, you see we will see the yellow ones. Um, currently um, either gathering, uh, foraging, logging, uh, mining, etc. These are all vitality workers mostly because you will need a lot of resources for the, the exchange if you're buying a lot of condensed energy, uh, black stones, uh, skill books and whatnot. And also buying the food inside you will need uh, resources. Next, uh, you will of, of course need to rename your escorts. I believe I've uh, said that in a previous video um, so that um, you will know who they are um, so that you can um, also um, level up their skills uh, really fast because it is important that you have uh, your merchantry skills on a high level. So these are my merchantry um, workers. You have Cap, Hulk, Stark, and Thor. Yes, I am Nick Fury, and this is these are my escorts. So as you can see, um, I have my skills um, at level sixty now for for let's say for combat for for Cap, and then Hulk um, at sixty one, and then for Stark combat sixty one, for Thor um, combat sixty one as well. So roughly, I am looking at two hundred plus um, for for the combat part. So I'm already getting the additional loot for having. Um, a 200 plus level um, combined for for the combat skill for all of my for, for all of my escorts so this one will really come into play and then one more thing um, if, if you've noticed um, all of my escorts are on vitality and maxed see uh, check out the vitality here 410 for cap for Hulk 410 for Stark 410 for Thor 410 so there they are these are all vitality types um, and they're all maxed at level 50 and the reason for this is that because after you're done with your merchant tree you would want them to gather at the same time and also complete task all at the same time with efficiency um, cutting down on time um, cutting down on food as well so that is very very important 
So um, since it's really early, um, it's it's been a week since Merchant Tree came out. So it's best that you change your your escorts to a Vitality type for convenience and also for saving time and resources. All right. Also, um, one more thing. Um, do your Merchant Tree at the same time each day, almost at the same time. Let's say I do my. Let's say for example, I do my Merchant Tree every four p.m. Um, server reset. Uh, do that each time so that your resources are constantly catching up with your daily merchant tree all right uh, because again resources are important with the exchange and buying food and sign um, one more thing um, don't do your merchant tree during a limited time um, in game or guild event because the merchant tree is uh, 1.5 hours on the average uh, you don't want it to be in the way of let's say nodes siege wars world boss Guild Rush, and etc. And also, uh, one more thing. Um, also, I think this is a fairly easy. Should know about this already. Um, uh, have have the white wagon, um, and also put a tier six horse in there because uh, you will need to have you know the five percent up on uh, food uh, while while you're inside. So that that is very essential. Um, so basically, that's it for serving the map and advanced preparation tips for merchant tree. So on the next video, I might give you more advanced tips on how to get SNAs on your merchant tree trip. So again, this is Chillstorm for Black Desert Mobile Chill Gaming. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.